Hi guys, welcome to Think IoT Solutions. So this is going to be the first tutorial on OpenCV in Python and uh, we are going to use uh, Google Colab uh, as a platform for that. So first let me just brief you about what is Google Colab and let us just uh, do one or two programs in this tutorial and uh, from the next tutorial onwards we'll be working on OpenCV. So for Google Colab let us just go to uh, Google Chrome and in the Google Chrome you just type uh, Google Colab and hit enter so you can see that uh, the first site uh, will mention about the Google Colab that is a Colab notebooks and you just click on that so it will directly take you to the drive and uh, you just click on new notebook so once you click on new notebook uh, it will take you to a new interactive screen wherein you can uh, write some codes on python so basically google collab is nothing but it is called as a co-laboratory that is a short form uh, is collab and in this you will be able to do uh, a lot of coding on python that is you can use modules you can import opencv modules in this you can import numpy you can import a lot of modules and you will be able to uh, do the program without any need of the hardware like a Raspberry Pi or a BeagleBone. So I'll just explain you about the interface here. So we are having something called as a code here and text. So if you click on this code, it will give you a new block, something like this, wherein you can write your uh, statements in Python. And then this is a text, which is like a, uh, which is explaining uh, what you are going to do in this particular line of code that is uh, for example I will just reorganize it so to do that I have arrows here up and down so if I want to take this box to the uh, uppermost code cell I will just uh, click on that so now it is here so I can just uh, double click on this to enter something I will just say test code so that's it so now i'll just uh, enter some test code here so basically in python i'll just create two variables and see whether it is working properly so i'll create a equal to 10 i'll create b equal to 20 i'll just see whether it is uh, uh, giving me a proper result so so once i read the code in this particular block i'll just have to run the code here so that is a run cell as you can see there so once i click on this you will see that the code is running and once the code is uh, completed execution it will just uh, change the color here so you can see that uh, it has stopped executing so as we have not printed anything it is not giving you any output so we will just write print c and now i'll execute run the code again so you can see that it is printing the answer 30 so same as how we have done in a lot of other environments like python uh, idle or uh, in the raspberry pi or any other device you will be able to execute any code on python in this particular platform so now i'll just show you how to uh, mount your google drive into this because we'll be storing the images in the google drive uh, for our uh, open cv tutorials so for loading the google drive you just uh, have to write uh, two lines of code that is you just have to say from google.colab import drive so generally import function is used to import any modules into python so here we are importing a module called drive and now i am just mounting the drive here so i'll be just saying mount drive dot mount and i'll be writing the g drive in this and i'll use a, a linux command for a current directory right so the current directory is nothing but it's going to be the same directory that i used above that is it is going to be g drive so these are the three commands which you just have to type here and then you have to run that particular cell so once i run that you can see here it is saying go to this url in a browser so i'll just click on that so it is taking me to a new url so i'll click on the email id that is the think iod solutions and then i'll say allow so I've got a code here so I'll copy the code by clicking on this particular button and then I'll come here and I'll paste it. Once I paste it I'll hit enter. 
so you can see that it is just authorizing our drive and then it is saying mounted at slash g drive so therefore your google drive has been mounted by using this now you can just uh, uh, create a small code to see if it's working so i'll just uh, try to open a file and now i'll have to give the whole path so i'll just say the path is g drive slash my drive slash collab notebooks so it will automatically create this particular uh, folder in your g drive as soon as you open it so i just want to store in that particular folder and i'll use a file test file 123.txt that is the name of the file that i'm giving and i'll open it in write mode so that i'll just see whether it is working that is a file write system and then i'll say f dot write and i'll write something i'll just say content from google collab so this is a text line that it is going to write into that file and then i'll close it so this is what i'm going to do and then i'll just run this code okay so the code has run without any error now uh, let me go to the drive to see if uh, that particular file is there in the drive or not so i'll just uh, uh, go here and i'll just go to my drive so you can see that it has created a folder called collab notebooks and it has created a file called test file 123.txt so let me just open this to see the content so you can see that something is written here called content from google collab that is what i have written in this particular f dot write function so this particular code is executed and uh, it has created a particular text file named test file 123.txt into the google drive now i'll just uh, copy this particular line i'll use another code cell and i'll paste it here and this time i'll just read that file i'll read the same file and uh, i'll just try to print what is there in that so text is equals to file dot read so because i have used the identifier as f i have to use f dot read and simply i'll print that particular text so when you run this code you will have to see the output that is the same output that you have written above that is content from google drive should be displayed below this particular code cell so uh, i'll just say f dot close so i'll close that file and now i'll run it so i've given the same address as above and you can see that the output it is showing here content from google collab so it's the same content that i have written in this particular code cell and in this particular code cell i have read the same file and i'm printing that particular content here so you can use google collab for your uh, python programs and uh, from the next tutorial onwards we'll be using open cv and we will see how to read write basic images and do some advanced coding using open cv thank you